What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have another SGC group submission reveal. So this was SGC group submission number 20 and uh, you know SGC I, I've, I talk about it every time but their turnaround times are just absolutely insane. So recently they actually did away with their five day submissions because there was really no point to it. The 20 to 25 day submissions were coming back so fast. There was really no reason to send at five day. So they introduced four group submitters, a five to 10 day turnaround time. And I sent this submission last week, which this is well over a hundred card submission. I believe this was around 115 cards total. And these were received and graded in one day. So uh, I ship with FedEx two day, to and from. Uh, the shipping to and from actually took much, much longer than they were actually at SGC, which is just incredible. So uh, just can't say enough good things about SGC. And uh, we'll go ahead and get into this submission uh, here in a second. Uh, again, this is a big submission, kind of on a little bit of a time crunch. I'm getting ready for the national. So I am recording this video on Tuesday, the 26th. These cards were just delivered. I'm gonna try to get i'm gonna try to record this and get the locals dropped off at louisville sports cards uh really soon so if you guys are watching this on wednesday and you are local in louisville your cards are at louisville sports cards and yeah i think with uh that being said let's go ahead and get into it there's some really really cool cards in this submission uh, again if you guys are watching this on wednesday the day that this comes out i am probably currently on my way to atlantic city for the national uh so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. And starting off with Ed Scorn, local guy, we have a Franco Harris uh, SGC six. And again, I am gonna kind of fly through this submission, um, kind of again on a little bit of a time crunch. Got to get these dropped off. Trying to record some other videos as well. I have my personal uh, results, so I did send in like 14 cards myself in this submission. That will be in a separate video as well. Uh, but a really Really nice card here. We have a Mike Trout Bowman's Best Auto. This one did get a 9, 5, 10, and this one is a die cut. So you can see uh, my hand in the back there. This is a super, super cool card. I know he, the person that sent this in is gonna be super happy about that. So, uh, and that one is actually numbered a 25. So that one uh, is actually one of 25. Very, very nice card there. Um, and then next up we have a Jose Garcia auto out of the, I believe that's the, yeah, the platinum anniversary, nine, five, 10 Julio Rodriguez, another one of those die cuts that one got a nine. Uh, and then we do have another one. This is the atomic, which did get a 10. Those are super, super cool cards. Big fan of those. Uh, and tough to get, tough to get a 10 on the die cut. So those are some really good grades. And then another Julio, that one did get a 10. So let's go ahead and put that back over there. And moving on, we have Derek with the nice Drew Brees Genesis. Got the 10, very cool one. Another big one. Again, I mentioned earlier, there's some really cool and big cards in the submission. You guys can see I was not lying. Uh, and there's definitely more to come. Uh, but Trevor Lawrence Prism Red Wave Auto out of 149. And it got a 9, 5, 10. Prism from this year is super, super tough to grade. So to get a 9, 5, I mean, you, you gotta love that. You, you can't complain there. And how about a Ronda Rousey? And this is the uh, Lava Parallel to 10, and it got a 10 on the Ronda Rousey. So some really, really cool cards. This is one of my, uh, I guess, probably more diverse or unique submissions, you might wanna say. Uh, Justin Fields Prism out of 175. That one got a 9.5. Again, gotta take that on this year's Prism. It is gonna be very, very tough. Uh, Luca Donruss 10, Luca Donruss 9.5, and then another die cut that got a 9.5. So, so uh, Justin Fields out of Spectra die cut to 30, got a 9.5, very cool card. And what's better than a 9.5? How about a 10 on this year's Prism? We got a Mac Jones uh, Prism Disco, and it got a 10. So, congrats there on that one. Next up, we have Ray H with the Herbert Silver um, Select 9.5. And next up, we have a Jeff Akuda 9. All right, so that does it for that stack. Let's move that off to the side. Next up, Cecilia with a one, or sorry, Ron, Ronald Acuna. There's a Wander coming up. Uh, that one got a 9.5. The Wander got a 10. Next up, we have Steven with a, another Luca rookie. That one got a 9.5. Cool. Uh, Jordan Alvarez, containers off the cracked ice here, 9.5. Joe Burrow, Rookie Rising Pink, got a 9.5. So lots of 9.5s here. Trey Young, Optic Checkerboard, also 9.5. 
and Joe Burrow flamethrowers out of 25 or sorry 75 also a 95 so lots of nine fives Owen with the uh, Lamello optic hollow that one did get an eight five but then we uh, improved to a 10 on the John Morant prism base and another really nice one here so these are you don't see a lot of these you see a lot of the like reactive yellow orange blue whatever you don't see a lot of these fanatics red camos uh, and this Justin Fields did get a 10 so congrats on that grade and then uh, we do have a uh, Trevor Lawrence red ice that one got an 8.5 Next up, another Genesis. Usually the Genesis do grade really well. So I would, uh, if you guys out there are thinking about grading some Mosaic Genesis, I would recommend it. Typically they do pretty well. Jamin Davis got a 10. Nice one here. 10, 10 on the uh, Cody Garbrandt tie-dye. Always love the select tie-dye. So nice one there, 10, 10. Then we got uh, Makachev, 9, 5. Lynn Bowden, NTRPA. 9, 10, and another nice one here. We got Andre Arlovsky, 9, 5, 10 out of Immaculate. So some really good grades there. Moving on, Matthew with a Joe Montana, 6. Um, John Elway, 8. Really cool one here. Cole Anthony Flux uh, Purple Scope. This one is out of 18. I believe this one might be a first off the line exclusive. Uh, so nice Cole Anthony there, got the 10. Another really nice one, RJ Barrett Hoops, I uh, believe, is that? Yeah, premium stock, 10-10 on the RJ. Uh, Charizard, Vivid Voltage, 10. Charizard, uh, base, 2-5. Typhlosion, 2-5. And the Blastoise got a 4. And a little bit of a dud here, not really sure what happened. Must have been... Some some type of surface issue here, not really too sure, but uh, got the RJ Hampton Cosmic 7. So that one was the first dud of the submission. Then we have Dan Marino 8. We have a Kobe 8. Devin Vassal Prism Fast Break Red 9. And finally, a, a nice AO here, uh, the Cosmic out of 99. That one got a 10. So overall, pretty solid there. Next stack here, we have Bo with a Kobe nine, Otto Graham three, Lou Groza four, Jimmy Brown uh, seven. We have a Peyton Manning 10, very nice one there out of, well, from uh, 1998 Bowman's Best. Got a 10 on the 25 year old card, very nice there. Aaron Rodgers got a nine five. We have a one-of-one one printing plate. This is an old-school printing plate. Jim Brown, Cyan, printing plate, one-of-one, one, got an eight. Printing plates are always tough, too, I will say. Very tough grades. Um, and then we have a, an Ovechkin, eight. We have a Sidney Crosby, eight, five. We have Austin Matthews, nine. And finishing up this stack, we have a Mitch Marner, nine, five. All right, moving on to our next stack over here. All right, we have David with a bunch of Jeters coming up. So this one was actually marked as authentic. So this is a good look at SGC's new label. Instead of just putting the A, they now put authentic. Uh, and it does say authentic due to uh, color added. So they saw something on this card that the coloring didn't match up. So that one is now marked as authentic. So very nice that they actually give an explanation. Love that. Uh, Jeter 9.5. And these are all going to be Jeters, I'm pretty sure. We got a 9 here, 8-5 um, on the start date. We have a 9, 9. There's a 10. Nice Jeter 10 there. We got a 9, 9, <laughs> 9. And next up we have Alex. So uh, this one is a Colton Krauser Bowman Green 10-10 out of 99. Nice uh, grade there. Then we have Chris T with a Justin Fields, uh, no huddle, 9-5. We have a Tom Brady Fire Forged, 9-5. And we are going to finish with a Papelbon, 9-5-10. All right, so we have one more stack. This one is a local guy. Shout out to Darnell. Always definitely sends in the most unique submissions, that is for sure. Uh, so he sent in 31 cards in this one. And we're going to start off with a, a Star Wars sketch. And as you can see, again, marked authentic. 
And then we have a Larry Doby 25. I believe this is Larry Doby as well. One five. That one is from uh, 19, is that 50? Wow. So 1950 on that one. Crazy old. All right. And then we have a, another Jeter. That one got an eight five. We have a Clemente one. Uh, Dave Parker got a four. Go ahead and get, grab a few down here. We got a nice Acuna Refractor 10. So as you can see, quite the variety here. Another Acuna 10, that one is out of 99, the green. Back to some vintage. We have Monte Irvin, one five. Another Larry Doby, four. And then we have a Jose Canseco, eight five. And just a few more here, about 10 to 15 more. We have Daryl Strawberry, got an eight five. Um, Bobby Witt, 910. 101 on the Carl Yastrzemski, and uh, that one got a six. So another, a bit of a dud there, but I do think since that one is a, uh, I believe this was a, a buyback, I wanna say. So who knows, you know, like, it wasn't like this was a fresh out of the pack card. Uh, so anyway, that is a one of one, uh, but it did get a six and a 10 on the auto. Uh, and a nice one here, Chad Johnson out of Panini One with some sick patches, nine, five, 10 there, very cool card. Uh, and then we have a Will Clark Auto, nine, 10. Jose Canseco Auto, nine, five, 10. And then we have an Adley Rushman, nine, 10 out of uh, Leaf. Some more Star Wars, we have uh, Darth Maul. And next up we have, this one's gonna be uh, out of Topps Chrome Star Wars. That one got a nine. Let's go ahead and move that off to the side there. So last few coming down to it, we have some Marvel here, some uh, Doctor Strange, nine. Back to Star Wars, got a 10 here on the Galaxy. Uh, Tony Ol Oliva, two, five. Roberto Clemente, four. Another authentic Star Wars, uh, I believe that's a Star Wars sketch maybe? I believe, yes, okay it is. Uh, and then we have a Garbage Bell Kids, a live mic, that one got a six, so uh, definitely wins the most unique award. Every single submission, he, he wins that award. Uh, and then we have a Joey Votto, uh, National Treasures with a crazy, crazy patch. That one is numbered out of three. I believe that's three of three there. 8.5 on that one. Oh, and that's interesting. So they actually didn't grade that auto. You guys can see this one does not have an auto grade. Um, so I guess it got a little streaky there. Uh, fun fact, if you did, if you were not aware of uh, SGC fills and, and auto will not get a 10. They do not grade the auto. Only 10s. Another Star Wars authentic. Really nice one here. Princess Leia 10.10. 10. That one is probably a pretty good card. I really don't know. I'm just assuming. Uh, so congrats on that one. And finally, we're gonna end with another authentic artist sketch card out of uh, Marvel. So that is gonna do it for the submission, guys. Again, over 100 card submission. Uh, very, very good results overall. If you guys are interested in sending to SGC through myself, check out 502frank.com. That is where you can find all the information you will need. Gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.